Dokkan Battle is approaching its 9th anniversary very soon, and there have been some hints which indicate what the theme might actually be. We'll be going over those hints as well as the community reaction and what I personally think the anniversary theme might be. Now obviously they did release a teaser for the 9th anniversary on Twitter, which has approximately 3 million views, which is amazing. Now interestingly, this trailer featured stuff from the Battle of Gods movie, or more specifically, the Dokkan Battle units that were related to the Battle of Gods movie. So for instance, physical Super Saiyan God Goku, the tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, as well as the physical Beerus. Given recent events, however, I doubt that the theme of the anniversary will be solely focused on Battle of Gods. The community comments have been really insightful, and I think they're actually right in this case. For instance, Asuna on Twitter here, stating that they think it's the start of Super and the end of Super. Whether or not this is only part one or maybe all three parts, it depends. But some other people obviously have come up with different ideas like Gogeta Blue and whatnot. But this idea of the start of Dragon Ball Super and the end of Dragon Ball Super is actually really good. Something that I'd like to point out is that the Japanese player base have picked up on something in the trailer, which is the silver text that is displayed. Through this, they've come to the conclusion that the theme might be stepping beyond the realm of God, which in my opinion might actually be correct alongside the original theme that we discussed. Other people have pointed out a red flash which may symbolize Gohan Beast, which I think is definitely possible considering... <laughs> well, we won't talk about the previous occurrence, we won't talk about that, but... It's definitely possible. Looking through these comments, a lot of the Japanese player base are leaning towards this Realm of Gods theory, whereas the Western audience is saying more towards superhero. In my opinion, I think that both of these are actually correct, which includes the earlier theory of the start and end of Dragon Ball Super. And I think that we're going to be at least getting a duo Goku and Vegeta unit that have the forms of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and Ultra Instinct Sign or Mastered Ultra Instinct. This hypothetical unit would relate to the Tournament of Power, and would even be in line with the 6th year anniversary LR EZAs, which are of course Ultra Instinct Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Some people suggested that they may go through the movies from Battle of Gods all the way to Superhero. I wouldn't have high hopes if they do that because we've seen how they treat movie characters, and there's been a lot of disrespect. Even if it is an anniversary, I still don't have high hopes for it. Future Spectre jumping in here as a brand new teaser has just been released. Now this occurred after I recorded the initial video, and this teaser seems to focus on Revival of F. Now if the next teaser happens to focus on the Universe 6 and 7 tournament, then we'll know that the main theme of the 9th anniversary happens to be on Dragon Ball Super itself. However, if the next teaser happens to be on Dragon Ball Super Broly, then the theme of the 9th anniversary is going to be on specifically movies, which would justify a new beast Gohan coming. If it's the former, however, then it's more strong evidence for a, for instance, duo Goku and Vegeta units. Other theories include a transforming Ultra Instinct sign to Master Ultra Instinct Goku and a transforming Jiren, which isn't a bad theory, but I don't think that's the direction they're going with. Even more evidence for Ultra Instinct Goku is somebody from the Japanese player base suggested that it's the number of forms that Goku has, from base form all the way to Ultra Instinct. Moving away from all the theories because I reckon that that's the sort of baseline that we have right now. So I'd like to discuss a bit about Global Dokkan Battle. Now as we know Global Dokkan is behind JP and has been like that forever pretty much. There have been a few synced releases recently, but for the most part it is still 4 or 5 releases behind. Some people want a synced 9th anniversary, which I don't think is going to happen this late in the game. I think that the 10th is going to be really more of when the sync is going to happen. But there is the comparison of Dokkan and One Piece Treasure Cruise, where One Piece Treasure Cruise synced both the Japanese and global versions by having this sort of mega banner. They crammed a bunch of different units that hadn't been released on global yet and just plopped it onto the version. And I think it went pretty well for them. For Global Dokkan, however, they had the opportunity to do this with Super Trunks, who was the lowest grossing banner of pretty much the entire game. But his banner has released on Global as per usual with no extra additions. And looking at the Dokkan Awakening lists on both versions, we can see that JP is still considerably ahead of Global. So it really wouldn't make sense for them to release a synced anniversary. In regards to part 2 and 3 theories, we have a render of Goku used in the 9th anniversary fan meetup announcement that is suspiciously similar to that of the superhero Goku render. Now it's highly unlikely that this even confirms superhero to be in the 9th anniversary, 
but I could see them doing a duo Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan. As a Dokkan original, I don't think they'd relate it to Xenoverse 2, but anything can happen. And if we really want to get into the what if side of things, perhaps a duo Beast Gohan and Ultra Instinct Goku could be in the works, but there's no evidence to support that and it's really far-fetched in my opinion. The fact that we have Dokkan original cards like Vegito Blue and what if cards like Trunks and Broly provide more evidence for a potential card like Vegeta and Goku as Evolution Blue and Ultra Instinct. And you got to think about it this way, it's all about the money. The devs are thinking about what cards they could release which would guarantee the most profits. And a Goku and Vegeta card is basically guaranteed to sell big bucks. Especially if it's a brand new, not before seen really what if sort of card. They've done these sorts of things before with like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and Broly in the early stages of Dokkan and those weren't even collaborations with any particular game at all. And of course we did just have a really successful Dragon Ball Heroes celebration featuring one of the best TURs of 2023. Either way the community seemed to be really on board with either Superhero or the Tournament of Power. And of course, waiting anxiously for these easy A details for the 6th year LRs, praying that they don't mess it up. Because to be fair, they have some really great animations. But let's have a look at other evidence, because as incompetent as Omatsu is, I think it's pretty clear how starving the Dokkan community is for a new Beast Gohan, an actual playable one, considering the fact that Legends now has two Beast Gohans. Really an insult to the Dokkan community. And this is true of both player bases, the Japanese and the Western audience. And as previously mentioned, Xenoverse 2 did actually have some superhero content, which is where the duo Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan idea came from. Now, Dokkan Battle has had collaborations with Xenoverse in the past, so it's not far-fetched to say that there could be some level of, you know, referencing from the Xenoverse version into a potential new Beast Gohan. I feel like what'll really happen is a Dokkan original Beast Gohan, if anything. Because there's not too much in the actual film to go off on, besides like, one kick and the special beam cannon. And we've already had the special beam cannon, so... Maybe we'll see some extra moves thrown in like they did in Dragon Ball Legends with the blue Beast Gohan, and Xenoverse with Beast Gohan's moveset there. This can also be true for Evolution Blue Vegeta and Ultra Instinct Goku if they decide to go through with that route. Because we've seen all manner of attacks with the two of them combined through multiple different units throughout Dokkan and Legends, so something new and interesting would definitely be a cash cow for Dokkan's devs. What do you guys think? Do you think that Beast Gohan, Orange Piccolo, Ultra Instinct Goku or Evolution Blue Vegeta will make it into the 9th anniversary? Do you think that the 9th anniversary theme is going to be something completely different? Or do you think that it's not even going to be movies related at all? Let me know in the comments below. Good luck if you summon in the future. Have a good one.